Hello and welcome. I am Sheep Thief, and today I will be playing Dominions 5 Warriors of the Faith. Uh, <clears throat> so, I uh, started this game um, and I generated a random map, but intentionally didn't look at it, so this is all new to me. Um, it's random. Uh, <coughs> there's an ocean in the middle. By the way, this is early age, and I am playing Hinam but I will get into my nation in a second. There's a central ocean here, which makes me think both of the water nations. Wait, first I'll tell you about all the nations that we have. First we have Archocephaly, um, which, uh, okay, king of the mountains, probably earth, enemy of infants, blood maybe, but that uh, seems weird, because I don't think they have any blood. Maybe death, the peacemaker. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm thinking maybe a light bless. Not really sure. From just from that uh, meow mix. I don't even know what that is. Ulm. Okay. Uh, warrior against the sun, the unsleeping god, the terror of the tomb. Uh. Thinking maybe um, fire, fire, death, death probably. Uh, then we have Marverni. Uh, okay, uh, nature, earth, herder of men, probably blood. Uh, I don't know what I'm expecting from this guy. Could be sacred. No, wait, are there any? Oh, yeah, it's the boars are sacred and these are sacred. This could be a bless. If we're good next to him, that could be a problem. Tian Chi, uh, god of doors and beginning and endings. That sounds like astral to me. Messenger of gods. Air. Lord of tremors. Death, maybe. Maybe earth. I don't know much about this nation. I don't know a lot about a lot of these nations. Abyssia, bald, burning man, friend of sailors, water maybe. Page oh, or maybe a uh, air, air, patron of artisans. Not really sure. Um. Uh. Agartha, devourer of sins, unmoving master, lord of crafts, earth. Earth, Devourer of Sins, I'm not sure, Death, maybe. Uh, Cilian, Earth, Water, Astral, Emperor of Rainbows, Rainbow Bless. So he's probably going to have these, this is probably a bless for these things to be even better. Uh, and it's probably imprisoned. Um... Here's me. What do I say? King of kings, god of insects. Weird. <laughs> okay. Um, shiny metal mass, the armor, king of wild cows, the hidden one. Seems like a lot of earth. King of the north wind, sounds like air. God of mist, maybe water. Uh Theridos. This looks like a, this might be another rainbow breast. Okay, so now I'll talk about the nations themselves. Uh, so this is Archocephaly. They have flying sacreds. Um, but I don't know. Unless they're heavily blessed, I don't think these are that amazing. Actually, they they they'll be hard to kill. But they don't have a lot of hit points. So if we have like people in the back line. We can smack him. Then, uh, uh, if, if the, what would be more worrisome is if they get like uh, a bunch of ma if they're good and they have a, like some crazy mage shit they do. Uh, they also have charioteers, but that won't be a problem for me. So they might expand a lot. I don't know much about them. I've never played. Them. Uh, Ulm has this, have these, uh, strong, um, 
human fighters have okay hit points for hu good hum hit points for humans uh, do a lot of damage. They're sacred too, so uh, it could be it could be swarms of those. They're also like, yeah, I don't know. For this, if we encounter them, it's just going to be uh, using magic against them. We need to have good magic, and we'll be able to beat them. Uh, Marverni, this is, I was talking about this earlier, could, they have these sacred berserker units, if he gets large amounts of them, they could chop up my giants really well. Uh, so again, good magic will be good. Hopefully he doesn't have a, uh, magic resistance bu uh, bless. Um, another concerning thing would just be if he didn't go sacreds and he has scales or something, and he just gets huge lines of these troops with their tattoos, which I don't know what the tattoos do. And also their their mages are good, I think. I think they have, like, yeah, they can do uh, gifts from heaven or whatever that is. Uh, and get, those. these are good paths. These are good magic paths. And they can do communions, too. This is a noob game, so I don't know um, if he'll know how to do that, but I'm not going to underestimate him. This, uh, more chariots. Again, not, not a problem for me. You have these sacred, uh, low hit points, high defense skill, sort of fighters, super expensive, uh, so I'll have to have like, I don't know, I'll have to have a good economy to have a lot of those, and like a crazy bless for them to be good. I'm expecting more of like lines of these good, like equi well equipped soldiers here, like f protection 15 for 10 gold. Swarms of these glaives chop up my giants really bad. And then I think they have, they might even have a form, they have these, like five pikes. Uh, I bet they have archers too. Now, they have short bows, or the composite bows, which are even better. Um, and then, what's this? Yeah, just these good troops backed up by really good mages. Or, I mean, I don't know, actually. Maybe not good, but they have lots of paths, so it'll be unpredictable what he does with his mages, and he'll have a good front line. If he does it that way. If he goes for some sacred thing or some chariot thing, I'm not as weird. <laughs> now, Abyssia. These are usually... F the Abyssia is usually straightforward. <coughs> it's usually sacred, these things. These can be very good against giants because they uh, do tons of damage and if he does the right bless they'll be hard to kill um, <coughs> I've lost battles as Hinam against uh, these crazy soldiers uh, underestimating them so I'm going to be very careful uh, these I don't know what the point of these are uh, and then he just has good troops here uh, expensive, uh, sort of expensive resource wise but uh, you could definitely mass large amounts of troops. Oh, and, uh... Let's see. Uh, as far as his mages go, just lots of fire. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to get some independent archers to do, uh... Flaming arrows. Uh, blood and astral. I don't know. <clears throat> the other thing is if he gets his blood economy online, then maybe uh, this could be bad. They're also assassins. I don't know. They're not my top worry, but they I am leery of them. Uh, Agartha. These have a lot of different troops. He can go aquatic, so he could be a player in this water battle. Um, I think my giants can beat him out unless he goes up for some insane bless. My giants are bigger and stronger. Uh, and then I think my troops are better. So I'm not really worried too much about this. This could be a problem if he swarms them. It'd be cool. If if he does some great ohm thing, that'd be epic. It'd be mad props to him. And then his ma I'm more worried about his mages. His mages can do insane stuff. Lots of earth. I love crazy items. Crazy paths. Ohms. Could be weird. I expect to, I expect him to play defensively, so not my top worry. So far my top worry is uh Marverni. Maybe Ohm. 
I just don't know enough about Archocephaly to be worried about them. Also, t yeah, I don't know. So far, my list is Marverni, Tianchi, Archocephaly. Next, uh, Tirna Nog. This one, uh, so my chariots should be able to run down his uh, glamoured troops. So if I run into him, I'm going to spam chariots down the middle, straight at him, and I should win, uh, from what I understand about how that works. So if he has crazy thugs early on, if that's early, later it'll be just a, a, an elf thing where I have to deal with getting with these like guerrilla attacks on my hidden provinces. But I think the way to do that will be to have good province defense and I'll have to do so-called counter thugging, which is where I sort of try to predict his movements and smack these things down because he'll, he, these aren't good enough just on their own. I don't think. I think he'll need to put items on him, and so that's I'll have to like win that war while also sending an army straight at his capital or something. These are actually some of the ones I'm least worried about. I hope I'm not underestimating him. Not not the player, just the nation. Um, the uh, Yomi. This one, Yomi. I think people think isn't very good. It's definitely gonna be hard. He has to have these badass Dioni. Uh, Few things. I'm 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 very interested to see what what he does. Uh, definitely not extremely worried about them, because uh, I have my own crazy thugs that can fight them. <laughs> also, I kind of know. I don't know. He's gonna I, I, he's gonna have to have good luck and be a good player to like pull this off. But good luck to him. And uh, if I'm next to him, I, it's not like I won't be nervous. But I don't know. If I'm next to him, I might try to run him down early because it looks like he has a Rainbow Bless Emperor of Rainbows, right? Um, I might just try to go for the jugular if I see this guy. Same with Fearbulk or uh, whatever, Tirna Nog. Uh, next up is me. I'll talk about my nation in a second. After that, uh, Mikone. These don't have sacreds, but if they get a line of these things, I am in trouble. I don't know wh what exactly I'm going to do about that. Uh, it will be a man fight if we do that. Uh, they also have... What is this? Oh, yeah. They have good mages, too, and, and like crazy item production. I don't really know what to think about this. Yeah, this this is crazy too. What in God's name? That's sacred too. Okay, so that, they do have something sacred. God, there's I need to blow my nose. <laughs> ah. Anyway, a sip of water. Ah. Ah. Now, um. Yeah, I'm worried about this. Uh, the armor, earth, king of wild cows. Nature, maybe. Hidden one. Maybe that means he's dormant or something. I don't know. I think I'm going to want to try to get info on how he's doing. I want other people to attack this guy. So if there's any way to like get people to be mad at him, I'm going to do that diplomatically. Um... Then uh, Atlantis. This is one of the ones in this ocean. I unless he spawned in. No, they have to both be in this. There's no way they spawned in. A po if they did, that would be nonsense. Uh, I think they're probably both in here. Cause you like look at this. You can see uh, like two in the random map generator you can see like two I bet this is the capital province right here for one of them and this is the other one and I bet they're gonna fight each other but maybe not who knows anyway um, yeah Atlantis underwater uh, and my expectation is they're gonna have a fight and so one of them is gonna be very strong and one of them is gonna be eliminated early that's my that's my uh, prediction um, as for if he does get out, it'll be late or mid game when that happens. Probably late game. He'll probably want to stay under there. I bet he has good, uh, scales. Um, 
they have crazy paths. I don't know. Crazy priests. Fucking all kinds of all kinds of bullshit. <coughs> um I have ways of going underwater. If I if I catch them right after a war or something and one of them is weak, I might try to like get in there. But we'll see. Next one is the other water one, Therados. Um uh, I expect Therados to have a harder time underwater than uh Atlantis. I actually don't know what he's gonna do. Why is he started? I could have sworn maybe Theros doesn't start underwater. I'm actually not sure. Is this aquat? These aren't aquatic. Where are his aquatic units? Yeah, I don't know. This is weird. Are these sacred? Oh, these are sacred. There could be some crazy sacred thing he does here. I don't know. If I were him, I'd try to, like, tell Atlantis, let's chill for a bit. I'd give him these territories here and try to get myself up on the land. In which case, okay, now. Now we can talk about my build, <coughs> or we'll just uh, go How do I view, oh there we go, this, okay, this is my build, I don't know if it's good or not, I have great sage to get my research going if I have to as you can see inspiring researcher uh, 72 research so when he gets in any backlog in research we can catch up on just in case we're in a war it's just a rainbow bless I uh, did attack skill um, we my starting province happens to be a wasteland so we can spawn those uh, say year set year or however you pronounce that um, which will be good because uh, they are sacred and they'll get all of this um, but it's mainly for my th for my uh, big units blood surge is always good poison resistance low light vision just in case we have to fight in caves with the Gartha undead command because uh, if I get a good death gem supply I'll try to summon uh, um, skele skeletons or whatever and because you get giant skeletons which are pretty good especially for sieging major magic resistance always nice two times reinvigoration nice for thugging defense skill I think I had another option there frost resistance or something I don't know I, more defense is always good to make your thugs or your just your unit your crazy units unkillable swiftness I think will be really good for uh, getting across the map with sit ear and uh, it's also just good for. I I like the thirty percent combat movement rate. That's that's what. It's not the defense skill. It's the increase. They get across the battlefield faster, and they can like ch hunt down units and attack rear better. I I just like it. It feels better. And then attack skill. More repel. More uh. More more killy. That's pretty much the bless. Nothing that crazy. Um, scales wise. Five Dominion. <clears throat> I hope that's not too little. A um, little bit of turmoil because hopefully I can get a good expansion and cover up uh, money loss with that. I'm a little worried about having enough money to build forts. Although, if there's a juicy target, I might just forego that and just try to take someone's forts early on and then settle down and boom. Production for uh, resources because all my troops cost a fair amount of resources. Three heat. Three growth, because I'm going to be blood hunting. Three luck, because uh, I'm a big believer in that. And um, then a little bit of drain. Just had to be in there. Um, but I think if we're careful, we can 
not, we can get our research goals in time. So that's my build. Now, let me see how long the recording has been. 20 minutes. Holy shit. Alright. <clears throat> now I will talk about, uh, you know, yes, uh, so my plan. I make him profit. I'm going to recruit. Uh oh. I didn't save it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I was thinking about getting the far strikers. So that's the question. The question of the turn is do I get far strikers or not? I think there's a way to look up what far strikers are, but I think I remember they're like. The question is do they have crossbows? I'm just going to look it up. It's a long woman. Thirty times long woman. Um <clears throat> It's such a gamble, I don't know, and I might not even get it and then I'd be out of thirty long women. No, I don't I don't think so. I don't think it's 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 uh, worth it. I'm gonna do two chariots, because these can cut down weak indies. And then uh, my main line unit will be this guy. He has a javelin, range 15, not bad. Um, 17 strength, pretty good. Um, and it's not as good as like Niflheim longbowmen, but it'll do. If I end up facing, well, I won't even go into all the hypotheticals because we have literally no information right now. Uh, Basically, my overall uh, troop tactics are pr most likely chariots on the flanks, unless I'm up someone up against someone with large units, with which there are few people like Agartha, maybe of which there are few players who have giant type units. Chariots on the side, uh, these guys in the center holding the line with their javelins and spears, and then in a line behind these guys will be these guys, the netters. Um, cause they will, um, th sort of seep in through the night lines and throw their nets, and then these guys will hit them pretty hard with a spear, um, uh, and if they have no defense, it will do a lot of damage. Um, siege, we have these, so if we get in an early war, we'll get a fair amount of these and to break down forts quickly. Uh, elves, if we see elves, we'll break these guys or these guys out. Uh, preferably these guys, but if we are nervous and we want the bless, we'll get these guys. Uh, the problem with these guys, these these uh, Melkart type or uh, Raphaite, Raphaim type units, uh, is that they d like just eat your population. Um, do do these guys? Yeah, they do. God damn it! I don't know. I don't even know. I I want to not eat my capital. Uh, to death. So, if I take someone else's capital, I'll do it to their capital. But, um, I don't know. The other thing is we're on a wasteland, and we're gonna try to, so, research. Um, I don't have anything researching right now, but thinking construction to then blood magic, we have these, if we get to level 3, we can start spamming out the sacred berserk thing, the serim. Um, if we get to, we can also get shadim at level 4, <coughs> if we want lightning. Um, I do want to get blood magic out early, but I, I don't know. I'm going to have to decide based on my expansion whether or not to go into blood magic. Alternatives are um, alteration for um, my commander units to get buffed. Uh, conjuration 2, we have uh, these which are pretty good imps that can attack backlines in battles for people who wouldn't be expecting a like flying attack can interrupt mage stuff they're not bad at that uh, and you can get a lot of them for three you get I think five or more you get a lot for three air gems and since this is early age and since uh, I'm around there's so many forests around my start I think it could be good now the Lelot is a 
uh, <clears throat> sort of succubus. Uh, uh, you get succubus earlier than you would it if you just went for a normal succubus. Um, it's dream seduction, which isn't very apparently very good. I haven't messed around with it. I also don't know how I'm going to get nature four. So uh, if that's uh, possible, I might try it. But the other reason to do uh, conjuration is just get some more u cheap units out. All I'm a little worried about my upkeep costs, uh, but we can also spam fire el elementals. We can spam earth elementals if we need to. Uh, we could get some undead out. So if we're a little nervous in the beginning, I'm trying to remember where's summon long dead or something. Is it uh enchantment? Animate dead. Yeah, okay. So if we want to do uh maybe it's reanimation. If we want to get giant skeletons, if it's reanimation then we just need one in enchantment. Uh, thaumaturgy. I don't know. I'm gonna think a little bit about uh this. I don't think we need much in here. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. All right. Well, I'm gonna try to. C definitely, we get into construction too. That'll be very useful. Uh, again, look at all these sites. Uh, I guess I guess the final thing I'll talk about is my goals for expansion obviously clear my cap circle. I think I can project a pretty big people will be kind of scared of Hinom, you know? They'll be scared of a bless. Um and so and that's sort of what I want. I want time to get my uh shit together. I would take an early war, but I would also if there's nothing good, I would also sit back and and boom. Um so I'm thinking if possible I'd get here, threaten this throne here threaten this throne and then all the way up to the ocean here if I got all of this I'd be very happy anything beyond that would be would be amazing under that would be not ideal and I'd like have to think about starting a war it was someone who's too close to me I don't know who's next to me yet uh, all I know is I've got these thrones here that's the same the, the map generates the thrones in a kind of grid so which is good um, <clears throat> I do know whoever's in the ocean. Yeah, whatever. Um, uh, I'm not worried about the ocean. So. Yeah, that's all. Um, all right. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been Sheep Thief coming at you with some Dominion's Five Warriors of the Faith gameplay. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode.